don't know why he's one of the best linebackers in the country. Ball is on the ground, knocked out by the middle linebacker, one of the best of the Big Ten, Joe Bocci. And league lost the football. Watch the heads up play here by Bocci. This kid makes plays. Indeed they do. The Michigan State Spartans back on track, back in the college football playoff rankings this week as they get set to take on Ohio State. Joe Bocci, the reigning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week, joins us. And Joe, incredible performance for you guys against Maryland. You held them to 100 total yards, a team that had been over 700 the week before. What were you most proud of in that performance? Uh, yeah, you know, our main thing that week was to stay disciplined. And uh, we knew if we were able to do that, we were going to have success. And uh, obviously, we were very disciplined that week. Um, 100 yards is, you know, kind of crazy, unheard of. And uh, we did a great job with that. We stopped their run. Uh, it was a windy day, and our back end held it down. Feels like this team has gotten a little bit of a shot in the arm. I mean, there was a point there. You lost the Northwestern game. You lost the Michigan game. You dropped two out of three. Felt like maybe things were slipping away a little bit. What has changed here for the Spartans? Yeah, we were up and down um, in October, but uh, you know we stayed to who we are. We stayed true. We had some injuries. Um, guys are banged up. Guys had to step up. You know, you obviously saw Rocky come in and play uh, very well, and uh, you know people on the O line. Some receivers were down, but uh, everyone just stayed together. Um, we continue to trust in each other. Um, continue to come out there every week, um, working hard, preparing hard, and just getting ready for that next opponent because uh, you never know, you know what's going to happen on Saturdays. You just got to prepare hard. You guys started the year with so much excitement, bringing back a ton of talent, a ton of starters from last year. Barring some crazy stuff happening here, you're probably out of the division race. So how do you guys stay motivated and stay focused, given that at least that goal has slipped away? Yeah, uh, that goal's went away a little bit, but, um, you know, Ohio State's coming to town. Uh, you know, that's big enough motivation for me, um, for the rest of the team, for the coaching staff. Uh, you know, last year's performance wasn't great. You know, we got to play better offensively, defensively, special teams. You know, all three phases weren't great at all. Um, so, you know, we got to come in this week, prepare hard. Uh, if we can beat these guys, you know, our bull, you know, our bull ranking, I guess, in the games and everything will go up a little bit. So that's big. So we do still have some goals ahead of us. Okay, let's focus in on that Ohio State team then. We start with their offense, Dwayne Haskins, high-powered attack. What do you see when you watch them on film? Uh, yeah, I think the main difference from, uh, you know, last year to this year on film is uh, their quarterback's got a big, strong arm. He's going to make that deep throw. Um, last year, JT was very, uh, very good at controlling the game, um, hitting those intermediate routes very well. Um, you know, Haskins is a good quarterback as well. He's a young guy, but he can throw it deep um, with anyone in the country, so we got to be ready for that. Uh, we got to get pressure on them. And, you know, last year they ran the ball there, but do whatever they wanted on us. So, uh, you know, we got to stop the run. Part of your reputation, Joe, as to what has made you such a good player is the amount of time you spend watching film, studying the opponent. Give us a sense of how much time you have devoted to Ohio State at this juncture of the week. Uh, yeah, that's where I just came from. I just ran over to the stadium real quick. Uh, you kind of broke up my film session, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> Mondays are a big film day for me and uh, Ohio State. Uh, it's a little personal, so, you know, that's just a, you know, a little motivation for a little more film. And uh, a lot of guys watch a ton of film. Um, it's not just me. That's what makes this defense, um, you know, so great in uh, a bunch of phases of the game. So uh, we're going to get back to it. You know, we're going to watch yesterday's practice as a group uh, here soon, and uh, we're going to get on with Wednesday's practice. Give me a sense, though, of what a ton of film is. What is watching a ton of film? Is that, for people who don't know, I mean, is that two yeah. hours? Is it seven hours? How much time is devoted to breaking down the opponent? Uh, I guess it goes into, uh, you know, how well are you watching film? You know, what do you uh, watch when you watch film? Some people just watch the ball, and, you know, that's not watching film. You know, you got to understand what your keys are, you know, what your job is on certain plays. And, uh, you know, you can get a good film session in 45 minutes, you know, or you can be in there for two, three hours. You really got nothing to do. But, uh, you know, it, it all depends on the free time you have. Um, some people got to come in, in the morning. Some people got to do it at night on their iPads. It all just depends. But uh, for me, you know, I, I get it in at night on my iPad a bunch. You mentioned the personal nature of this game. They beat you guys 48-3 to last year. How much has that factored into your mind as you have prepared? Uh, yeah, I was actually watching that game on Monday. And, uh, you know, you watch that game, and uh, you got kind of get a nasty taste in your mouth 
So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to have that again, you know, just like after last year. Um, you know, it was a tough game, you know, from the start. We had a bunch of missed assignments right away. Um, it looked like it kind of shot down our confidence. Um, you know, they got a three and out on our offense, and they drove down and scored again. So, you know, it was a tough game to watch and, uh, you know, a tough game to take in. But, you know, it's that motivation that's going to get us uh, going forward this week and, uh, you know, get us to play better this weekend. You are an Ohio native. You did not get an offer from Ohio State. How much does that play in? Uh, yeah, you know, I grew up in Ohio. I was an Ohio State fan until about high school. Um, but, you know, that kind of changed. Uh, Michigan State came around. Coach Bowman was a great recruiter. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed this place up here from the start. Um, I enjoyed Michigan State. I enjoyed the coaching staff and, you know, just how, you know, warm they were with welcoming in, um, you know, Ohio guys. But, uh, you know, this Ohio State game means a lot to me just because of, uh, you know, friends back home, you know, how much they care about it. You know, you drive the streets back home, and that's all you see. Michigan State linebacker Joe Bocci. Joe, thanks a lot for your time, and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.